Hey, it's Matt, your Average Gamer, and for this video, we're going to be doing a cool double slash build along with a little bit of a night theme. This is going to be a fun one. Let's get into the details. Now, before anybody mentions it, I'm already aware there's a whole bunch of different weapons you can use for double slash that are probably going to be quicker than the Banished Knight's Greatsword, but I wanted to do this as a little bit of a theme since I had a lot of people asking me about double slash and I had a couple people ask me about this specific sword as well. So I decided to combine it into two and turn it into kind of a thematic build and have fun with it. So for this, we have the Banished Knight's armor set on. We're using the entire armor set, which actually gives us a reasonable amount of defense. We have his shield as well, and then his sword. I'll show you here in a second where to get everything as far as the equipment goes. So good old Caelid, one of the best places in my opinion in the game, especially when you're starting out. Caelid's a really cool place to look at. This is where your best bet early game, at least as far as I know, as far as farming this guy. Basically, kill this knight over and over again. He'll drop everything. He can drop the sword, he can drop the shield, and he can drop his entire armor set as well. And then go back to the site of grace, load in whatever you want to do, and then do it again and just farm him until you get it. I needed all I needed for this build was the chest piece. Didn't take me too long, it took me about 10 minutes, and that's where it was on the map in Kalid at the Church of Dragon Communion. This is a really good build. This is something that's really hard hitting, and since we're using it on a strength build, we're going to get a little bit more damage out of it, and it's something fun to do with Double Slash 2 to mix it up as opposed to using a katana, which essentially would replicate the Rivers of Blood after all anyway, because if you're using something like the Nagakiba or the base katana, it's really just discount Rivers of Blood, and at that point, just have somebody drop you the Rivers of Blood, and you can roll on with that. For this, I like the thematic setup. I like being able to hit stuff hard while also getting a reasonable amount of bleed. And then obviously, again, being able to suit up entirely as the knight is really cool. I didn't mention this, by the way, the Ash of War itself double slash, which naturally is on the Serpent Bone Blade. But aside from that, the Ash of War itself is in Kalid, Town of Sorcery. It's on the roots above the town. It's quite easy to get. It's a teardrop scarab. You'll be able to get it quite easily, and you can get it very early game too. As far as the double slash animation, by the way, it is quite good. The double slash animation is really good. Again, it's basically the same as the Rivers of Blood, but we have a little bit more bleed buildup on this. And again, it's a little bit slower because we're using the Banished Knight's Greatsword, but it does hit quite hard, and you get at least one bleed proc usually throughout the weapon art. Some enemies or bosses you might even get two. It's a very useful Ash of War. I also wanted to mention real quick as well, if you guys aren't on the Discord, you definitely want to join that Discord. There's over 350 people in it. It's been a ton of fun. There's a whole bunch of people in there, so definitely be sure to join that. And if you're not sub, be sure to hit that subscribe button too. Double Slash, by the way, also gives you a lot of leeway too, because there's a whole bunch of different weapons that you can put it on. So if you're somebody that enjoys that ash of war feel free to put it on anything and then go with the weapon scaling and then obviously secondary and arcane if you're going to go the bleed route you can do a whole bunch of different things with double slash but obviously bleed is going to be some of the most powerful as it is for the majority of the game bleed does make the game a lot easier for a lot of people so that's why i went with bleed in this instance to kind of mimic something sort of like the rivers of blood but a little bit of a different setup here as for mobs this will absolutely crush it this is something that you're not going to have an issue as far as mobs go because the ash of war works really well and then we have a sword that's a little bit harder hitting than your normal katanas and whatnot as well because again the banished knight sword's a little heavier it is I, for the most part a quality weapon i think it scales slightly better with strength so i leaned more towards strength but eventually it ends up, I think, with a C in both. So as far as the weapon itself goes, doesn't have the best scaling in general, but it does turn into a very good weapon when you add double slash. You can have a lot of fun with it. As you saw at the beginning, I absolutely shredded Morgoth with it, and you can go with something really cool like the Knight build to get a lot of damage while also having a fairly good amount of armor as well. We'll take on another boss to show off the build here in Kalid. We're going to take on the commander here and show off the build once again. This is something, again, it's going to be hard hitting. It's going to be powerful. You're going to get a lot of damage out of the Ash of War, and then you're going to get bleed build up as well. It's something that is very good. By the way, as far as weapons go, you can do a lot of damage with the Nagakiba on Double Slash 2. I mentioned that earlier as far as different weapons. That's another personal favorite, but again, it feels a little bit too much like Discount Rivers of Blood in that case, and you would invest mainly for dexterity as the weapon scales and moves on you will still need 18 strength i think with the nagakiba but that is another great alternative you can use to this weapon but for me the banished knight's great sword the great sword we're using in general turned out to be a lot of fun it wasn't something that i use very often this isn't a sword that i use that often so it was pretty cool to throw the ash of war on it and turn it into a build 
You can also sword and board with this as well. I didn't use a lot of the shield or block a lot because I haven't really done sword and shield since around launch time. It's not really my style. I play a little bit more aggressive than that. But if you want to block stuff, the shield's not bad at blocking. It's not awful at it. It does a fine job. I threw no skill on the shield so we can use the Ash of War at will. And as far as the shield itself, again, probably pretty mid-tier, but it is able to block most things. Again, hits for a lot of stamina. It is upgraded. Gets 60 something guard boost, I think, which makes it feel pretty much like in the middle as far as medium shields go. My knowledge on shields isn't ridiculously good because I haven't done swords and shields in a very long time aside from the fingerprint shield. Because generally speaking, I like overpowered builds and they involve a lot more aggression. But eventually, maybe I'll do a sword and board build too. That would be really cool to add to the list. And we're going to show this on mobs one more time. And then we're going to go over equipment, stats, everything you need to know for this build. This hard-hitting, fun build that's also able to proc bleed. This is a good one. Also, something to keep in mind here as far as this weapon goes. It, everything we're carrying is a lot of weight. So I did go for a lot of endurance in this case. I'll show you that when we go over stats. But you're going to need either a lot of endurance or something like the Great Jar's Arsenal because the armor we're wearing, the shield, the sword, everything does add up to a substantial amount of weight. I should specify that that's particularly for the setup and not just for the sword itself, but as far as the sword itself, if you want some good armor with it and you do want to rock something like a shield, no matter what, it is going to add up to a reasonable amount of weight, so endurance is something that you should definitely invest in. And now we're going to get into equipment for this build. As far as equipment goes, we're using the Banished Knight's Greatsword in Blood. We have Double Slash on it. We have the Banished Knight's Shield as well. Any seal will do. The Banished Knight Armor set on. Shard of Alexander. Lord of Blood's Exaltation. Rotten Wing Sword Insignia, which will proc, obviously, with the weapon art. Then we have Dragon Crest, preferably the Great Shield. Thorny Tier. And then you could throw in something like the Faith Tier. For buffs as well now for stats for this build this is a little bit of a quality weapon but i felt like for me it leans a little bit more towards strength so i went with strength and arcane and i ended up really happy with the way the stats came out at 150 overall i really like the stats here we're able to get a lot of damage a lot of bleed in general now i hope i did double slash justice with this build i know a lot of people wanted the katanas or discount rivers of blood and i did use the same base setup as far as talismans that i've used in my rivers of blood builds the past couple of months i think i did two of them so months ago and it's the same basic setup but for me i wanted to go with something a little different and that's why i chose the banished knight's greatsword in the setup in general i thought it looked cool all right, for buffs, as far as buffs on this build, you're going to drink your tier first, and then you're going to use Golden Val, and then we're going to use Flame Grant Me Strength, of course. Those two I've used pretty much in every single video. I recommend them for everybody. They're great buffs. It adds around 35% more damage, and then we get to use Double Slash, get that cool animation, a lot of damage with this weapon, and a lot of bleed in general. This was a good one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this little build basically for a knight and double slash. A lot of people were asking for the double slash build. I just decided to mix it up, change it up a bit, and to turn it into something a little bit different. So I hope everybody can appreciate that. Because you can put it on so many different weapons, it really is versatile and it's a lot of fun. And you have a lot of choice on your own to turn this build, this setup, into anything that you like too. If you're not on the Discord, by the way, definitely be sure to join that. There's a ton of people on there. It's been awesome. If you're not subbed and you love overpowered PvE builds, be sure to check out all the awesome builds that are on my channel. Thanks for watching. As always, I will catch you guys there.